All right, so I recently saw this video on the internet and I thought it was such an incredible video. It's a video of a dad trying to teach his daughter how to drop in on a skateboarding ramp. Um, I think that's what it's called. And uh, I think it's just such an incredible uh, scene. It's a one and a half minutes video uh, of how uh, the dad empowers the girl to feel confident about herself, to feel good about herself, to feel encouraged about herself uh, without feeling uh, any kind of superficiality. It's not any fake praises or any kind of motivational speech, that kind of thing. It's uh, really uh, in, uh, just truly being present there and um, being with her throughout the process. And I thought um, it's such a great video for uh, any leaders, any parents, uh, anyone really that uh, wants to uh, learn how to empower somebody else. And it's a minute and a half video, so let's get right into it. <clears throat> I'm scared to drop it. So right in the beginning, you see that the daughter is expressing her emotions. She says she's scared to drop in and there's no judgment really. The, the dad pretty much didn't say anything. He's just there and he held her. So it's, a, it's his body language that was uh, reaffirming her in this sense. Dad, I'm going to try by myself, but be there to catch me if I need Okay. I will always... Stop. Okay. Uh, so again, uh, he reaffirms her. So she's saying again, like, okay, she wants to try by herself, um, but be there to catch me uh, if I fall, you know? And the dad reassures her and says, I will always be here to catch you if you need. So this is a great example of um, letting go, allowing your team members, your um, your, your kids or anybody that uh, that is learning something new, that you want to let them go and let them try something new, um, but you are providing that sort of safety net to um, reassure them that, hey, I'll be here to catch you if you fall or if you slip through because you're new to this, you know? Um, so that's that's a really great thing that the dad did here. Dad, yeah. I'm ready. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna drop in. Every drop in deserves your attention and your respect. So um, this, is, this is quite an underrated part. I'm not sure if many people caught this, but um, she's saying that she's ready to drop in. And so what the dad does is he repeats uh, what I assume is an instruction or a kind of like a mantra that he probably has taught the daughter before, which is every drop in deserves your attention and your respect. So he kind of repeats it again here and he does it in a way that is... Um, not superficial at all. He, he's just saying that every drop-in deserves your attention and respect. In, in fact, he said it almost uh, factually, you know, it's, it's like a matter of fact kind of thing. And it, it wasn't, he wasn't looking down on her. He wasn't assuming that she wasn't paying attention or wasn't giving it the respect. He's just reminding her in a very, uh, very wholesome way. Oh. <laughs> hey, got you, and he got catches you. her when she falls. And I think just, just a note on that is that, uh, yeah, uh, there was no judgment. He's just like, oh, hey, hey I, I caught you, you know? Um, yeah, like it's okay to fall. It's okay to make mistakes. You're not going to get it right the first time. And that's fine. That's fine. Gotcha. I'll try again. All right. Again. Don't touch me unless you need help. Oh, how do I know if you need help? Um, if I'm like so asking questions is a great way to clarify what uh, the other person mean. And in this case, she's saying, don't touch me unless I need help. So, and then the dad asks, how do I know when do you need help? You know, um, yeah, when he, 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 there was no assumption here, which is another great thing. Um, and then she says, you know, when I'm falling, I'm leaning over, that's when uh, you know that I need help. So clarifying, asking questions is always a very good idea. Yeah, 
And I think his dad is just so great at uh, celebrating and you see in a while is that he he's generally present uh, throughout the whole video. You can see that he is there with his daughter and when she succeeds, he celebrates with her like... Um, uh, he's generally happy for her. It, it's not like something like, uh, I'm sure he's a skateboarder and he could do this uh, very easily. He, he, he doesn't say like, oh, nah, it's just a very simple thing. Yeah, this is just the first step, you know, or this is, he, he doesn't belittle her achievements because this is something big for her, even though it may be something super duper easy for him. Uh, he's there with her. This is, he's empathizing with her. Um, and he's celebrating with her in, in the most genuine and sincere way uh, of all. Scared when you get to the rock and roll part or is that the easy part? <laughs> and again, he's asking question, you know, were you scared uh, when you get to the rock and roll part or is that an easy part, you know? So he's generally curious about the daughter's experience. And when a parent asks a kid questions like this, it makes the kid feel validated that her opinion and her feelings are important and valued by the parent. And this is something that is very empowering to not just kids, but to everybody um, that we're working with. We need to get a special <clears throat> handshake. And again, he's celebrating with the kid. And this is, yeah, so this is such an incredible, incredible uh, video of the father um, just being truly present and helping the daughter to learn how to drop in on a skateboard uh, without judgment, uh, with a lot of presence and a lot of empathy and he's asking a lot of questions. So he's just being with her at her level, not from a father level or I'm a superior level or I'm going to be teaching you something level, but it's more of like, I'm here with you. I'm here to support you i'm here to catch you if you fall and i hope you've learned something from this video take care and see you in the next video